Thank right, you guys, you. look at what is happening here. Look at how good this puppy is sitting. Look at her, she's attentive. She's experiencing Everyone something. Uses Wait, she's experienced something she's never experienced before. Communication. Welcome to today's video. We have some fun new things that we're gonna try today. We're gonna share with you guys. Look it. Even though she got, even though she's got yuck all over her face, her eye been looking clear. Hi, little Betty Pickle. Okay, I'm gonna try and get her attention. Right. Uh oh. Hold on. I swear, my horse is addicted. Okay. Wait. You need to put your head that way. Okay. Take her outside. Yeah. Imagine how much Penny had to change to, for her to realize that we'll always go slow. We'll always do it gentle. She trusts us so much now. She eats her medicine so good. So yesterday we added the probiotic, or a couple of days ago, we added a probiotic to Penny's uh, grain and she didn't eat it. This is what she does. She does not eat when there's something new. See, she's smelling it. She's like, mm, I know there's tricks in there. You trick, oh my goodness, Penny Pickle. Why? Why you gotta be like that? <laughs> she, she's very suspicious. She's such a suspicious pony. She's like, don't be suspicious. That's what we're like. Oh, she pushed it away. Oh my goodness, what a cute girl you are. What a funny girl. Penny, you have to have the probiotic. And it's got your uh, ulcer stuff in there. Come on. Ugh. Yeah, eat it off my hands. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Have you ever known a horse like this? I've never known a horse like this. Obviously, my horse knowledge is limited, but come on now. I made it perfect for you, Pen. Come on, you like it. Come on. She's so confused. She's like, I know there's some poison in there and I don't want it. All right, well, that's two days of grain wasted and medicine wasted. All right, so I'll start again. What a tricky girl. All right, Penny. See if you like that. What do you think? Yeah, <laughs> she's a smart pony. Okay, experts of the internet, what do I do now? I made a warm mash for her with all of her supplements, added the supplement that she doesn't like, and she can smell it and she won't eat it. She will not eat it. So all I can think is I'll have to syringe it into her. So if you've been following Daisy's story, then you will know that we are 99.9% .9 sure that she's hearing impaired. She's definitely hearing impaired. Would you, can, would you agree? Yeah. Yeah. Hearing impaired. What does hearing impaired mean? Not deaf. Hearing impaired means her hearing <laughs> her hearing is impaired. We don't know how deaf she is. She's shorter haired, people are smarter. <laughs> she can, I love you, Sophie. Um, she can hear pots and pans, baby. Well, sometimes she can. It depends on how long, how high they are. She's barking. We'll let her out. Anyways. Today, uh, we decided to try our vibration collar. The vibration collar has a sound and it has a vibration. So we use the sound and she doesn't even act like she hears it. And the vibration, so if we did it once and that's what you saw this morning, she was like, she was like, whoa, what is that? And she was so excited. It was like we were able to communicate with her and it, she got really excited. And then she sat with Sophie the entire time. So it's something that we definitely want to work on. Come on, Molly. Molly. Come on, Molly. Come on. Why is your there? I know. Come on. Don't poop in the horse's field. Come on. Daisy. Oh. Girl, good girl. Oh, Libby. Libby, come 
run. This is the problem. She's so excited to run, we can't catch we can't catch her. Anyway, we we took it off because we're worried about her going underneath the fence. She runs underneath it. Her back skits across it. She doesn't feel anything. That's why you need to touch it. Come on! All right, here she comes. Here she comes. Grab her. Step on that rope. Step on her rope. Step on her leash. That's why she's supposed to have the long leash on, Sophie. <laughs> Thank gosh. Anyway, you want to be careful how you use like a vibration collar, uh, especially for horse dogs that don't hear because it can have some like crazy ramifications if you're not really careful. So remember that one time that Molly bit the fence? She ran chest into it and then it shocked her and she screamed and tried to go forward again, but she couldn't because the fence was right there. So she was just getting shocked again. Then she bit it. Molly screamed a lot as a baby learning that fence. <laughs> Daisy doesn't bark hardly ever. We've only ever heard her bark really two times. She doesn't make noise. Okay, let's go. Mel, um, Willow's over there like, stop with the talking. All right, you guys get out there. I'm gonna make Penny walk slow with me. Oh, she's still not done because it has the smell in there still. Mm. Get eating, get eating, Penny Pickle. Or I'm gonna be worried about you. The problem is I really need her to eat the, see, it, I should have cleaned the whole entire bucket out, not thinking that I had to clean it out. It's your regular old food, Pen. Goodness gracious. Way too smart for her own good. She can't eat it in the bucket because the bucket has the supplement residue in it. All right, this one's for you, Sam. Crazy stall. Come on, you can keep walk on. This town's so You want a treat? Usually you take a treat. You come in? It is a snowy, blistery day. Penny! Penny! Pen! You coming? No, nope, not today. Not today, she's not. Today she's like, you betrayed my trust. You're trying to sneak food into my, into my bowl. That's so unkind. I love her. I can't believe the difference the liver supplement has made for her. I don't know if you guys can see it. I should try and get some video. Uh, before the liver supplement, when we would walk in her stall and be in her stall with her, to now. Now, like, I used to have to put the halter on her and to, like, brush her and stuff. Now, I just stood here. She just stood here after her food when I rubbed her. Look at this little barn kitty. Isn't she so sweet? She loves you. She has green eyes and then Ollie has orange eyes. My cat's all orange and white. I love him. I love him, too. But he should have been a house cat because he doesn't stay here. People are getting him neutered very, very soon. Catch it. We will catch him. He comes to us. He comes to us. No. Here, Molly, he doesn't come to us when the I, dogs are here. Morning, yeah, he does I saw not him like run that way. He doesn't like the dogs. But look at she's really brave. No, I had to yank her down from there. Oh. Did you get yanked down? Poor kitty. Anyway, somebody was concerned that our cats were too fat. Do you think they're fat? Oh, listen to that. Okay, so she can stretch. <laughs> All right, she's purring away there. Okay. Go, Molly. So in Canada, yeah, in Canada in winter, if you're an outdoor cat, what do you grow? What do you fur. grow? Lots of fur. And you don't maintain weight as well either Wallace because it's so cold. Fur. Yeah, she, well, they've just got really, Ruby, really thick Ruby's fur. Ruby's waiting for turn. Yeah, Ruby's like, let me eat they her. They also, let me add her. Ruby's they a also cat chaser. hang out with two other cats that are black, but they're yeah, straight. Yeah, I think, I think Ollie already has a girlfriend. are not straight. Yeah, you can tell she's normal. She just has a lot, normal size. She just has a lot of yeah, hair. Yeah, she's more skittish as like a baby kit. <laughs> and she's small. She's actually a small cat. Okay, so school is mostly done. We still have a few more things we're gonna do. But last night, what well, you guys didn't see, I ordered new dressers for mine and Sam's room. 
he needed something that was like an armoire instead of a dresser. So anyway, we are trying to get all that situated. Oh. Who remembers when I got Gabby this bed? It was in the basement and let me show you. So it's just this plain bed. Has this headboard. Look at that. Yeah, let's look at it. So it's just Remember this headboard. When Nick's gum was behind it? Yeah, it was this headboard. So this bed was mine years and years ago when I first had my boys. This was my bed. And it has two matching dressers. And then it went to Nick, and then my sister used it for a while. It's this really, really heavy wooden thing. But it's all right, getting all old. Me. Like it, this is a really, really old bedroom set. Also comes with this dresser, also comes with this dresser. The kind of house interior I want. That is so like what room. do you guys think about the I like dark dark look? interior? So when I got this like bed out for room. Gabby to give her like a bigger bed when she dark went to a kitchen with when she went to a queen size bed, I got that headboard out of the basement and ultimately I wanted My to give her room. these <laughs> ultimately I wanted to give her these dressers. With the intention, you guys remember I said that we were gonna get some paint and we were gonna paint the headboard. Well, since that happened, we've been busy all this time. And now there's this thing out called chalk paint, which basically allows you to paint over every, over anything. So anyways, my point is that the time has come, now that Sam and I got new dressers, finally, that um, we're gonna actually paint, we're gonna get the paint, we're gonna paint these dressers this like, weekend. Like, I don't want like black black, but I want like dark gray, but I want a black tub. So, my dream, my dream, you guys, has always been to have a little girl with white or off-white dressers and off-white furniture. And so I'm excited that we're finally at oh, the stage. Then should adopt Kaylee. Then. Yeah, I should adopt somebody. Kaylee has like white. White? Did she get a new bedroom set when she moved? Uh, yeah. Mm. So anyways, that is my plan. I'm excited to paint everything this nice white color. And then Gabby comes to me and she says, what did you say, Gabby? I want dark. Gabby likes dark. So she loves a smoky, darky room. And I can't stand that. I like a light. I like dark interior. Just yeah, dark not interior. me. I like, like bright and light. Like, let's show them. Not like, like dark, dark black. Kind of like a castle or like a dungeon. I mean, it is pretty, but it would be hard to... Yeah, you can decorate your house that way. Because it looks like it's dark walls with light furniture. So we should paint the furniture light and then... Not really... Let's see. Anyway, so now we're at a, like a blue crossroads. Blue we're at a crossroads. We're finally ready to decorate her room. She has a bunch of stuff like over dark, there, like all her ribbons. Colored wood. Yeah, that is maybe new, something coming in. Your dad is going to be so shocked that that's what you like. All right, so now I'm in Sophie's room and I'm going to just sit down here, sit on this nice, freshly made bed. Wow, Sophie, your bed looks odd. Know. Do you guys see it? Do you guys actually see Peekaboo! <laughs> That's what happens in our house, you guys. There's always a daisy underneath the blankets. My dog's in this way. And there's always a molly in this room. Okay, Gabby wants to show us. You know what we're gonna use for here? We're gonna paint this and we're gonna get new handles. Yeah, we're getting all new handles. How does this break? This is thick. All right. Here's my riding pants drawer. So this is how Gabby organized her riding pants drawer. I only wear three of them because only three of them fit me. That one, that one, and then I have a navy blue strip. Which is a lie. They all fit her. She just doesn't no, like the fit. They don't. They do. Uh, they don't. Uh, we have a drawer that's just not complete. Shorts and pajama pants. Shorts because I don't need them. She did sure. all her own bedroom organizing. Wow. Jeans. Yeah, I realized I have a lot of jeans. I just need one more to complete the. Uh... Are you gonna get black or blue? How many pairs of those jeans do you wear? Three. Three's your your number. Well, this is how she hugs, and it's the best hug of life. Oh, you're such a huggy girl. Aww. She's this... grown. Yeah. Before she wasn't really as tall as me. She's still small for a border collie. Like her sister is almost like at least a whole size bigger. Today we got three bags of garbage out of our rooms. Three bedrooms, three bags of garbage. It's true. Like January is the month that I usually go through everything and get cleaned up and organized. But now we're going to go out and do something really fun. But watch this. I want to show you guys something. Listen carefully. All right.
Yeah. Best daughters of life. <laughs> Molly is always ready. Usually it's just her that comes running, but it, you guys aren't going. Oh yeah, you guys are going. We're going. We're getting ready to go. You ready to go? Okay, right, so we are, whoa, look at the color there. We are united with the man of the family. Do you feel like the man of the family? Oh, never mind, Mom. We have Ruby's old leash. Oh, never mind. It's broken. So we are... Oh, never mind. We can use it. Do you feel like the man of the family? The only man of the family. He is the only man of the family. Did you ever think that you were going to be the only man of the family? Yeah. Like, you lucky. Anyways, we are headed out before I was the only woman in the family, and it sucked. Do you actually like being the only man, or did you wish you had a man with you? Yeah, I like being the only person. Yeah. We got all the puppies with us, all the kids with us, and we, Gabby just wanted to get out. I'm always hurt. We literally have been doing school and cleaning up the bedroom situation all day. Also, the next installment of our course is out, so we've been kind of doing a little bit with the ponies here and there, trying to reinforce the skills we learned. The next installment is out, so we'll be watching that tomorrow or, or Thursday. I don't know, it depends on our schedule, but we're gonna be watching that soon and then we're gonna be able to share with you the newest things that we learned. Our course is 12 weeks long. It has six uh, lessons and we get two weeks to work on them, which is amazing. It's, it's um, so it's gonna be fun. But anyway, let's go and do something fun. Here to take all of our puppies on a trail. Just the puppies, no ponies. I'd love to bring the po horses here though. It would be so fun. Underneath it's all gravel though. Yeah, underneath the snow it's all gravel. But look at it, it's packed here. Like there's lots of cars. All right, we're ready you guys. The thing I hate about these leashes is that they get underneath the dog's legs. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Okay, all of our dogs have their, oh my gosh. This is not gonna work. <laughs> Ruby. All right, I got the rambunctious dog. I got the bog. I got the bog. I got the dog with energy. I, I brought my mask because I'm smart. Because my I know my chin's gonna get cold, so it's gonna keep my chin warm. We are not gonna get lost. So do you guys remember when we've come to this uh, place in the past? Oh, those oh are... it's got doggy bags. Oh, can I choose another? Oh my god. Control Ruby. <laughs> Control Ruby. Why is this dirty? Oh, maybe you smell. <laughs> That's where you put your. <laughs> That's where you put your dirty bags. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> don't judge me. Baby says, don't judge me. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. Nobody will. <laughs> I was suspecting it too, though. When she Oh my gosh. Okay, what do you want Nobody will we're know here. that right Sophie here. picked up somebody's dirty. Let's go to the boulder. So we're gonna go that way. All right. To All right. Gabby's got the map under control. Icy trails. Use it at your own risk. So we're here. You have to go all the way around to the boulder, then back. Okay, let's go. I'm not gonna lie, Ruby. If you tangle my legs, <laughs> I'm letting you go. If there were no other people on the path, then I would not let her, or I would just let her go. Yeah, this one's being pretty good. That one's being pretty good. This one's being terrible. All right, so we passed our first guy, and our, none of our dogs barked. Daisy just stood there staring at the guy. Um, Daisy, Daisy just stood there staring at the guy. We should nickname Sophie Poop Girl. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, we'd bury it in snow. <laughs> <laughs> when Molly saw the guy, Molly dragged Gabby and she almost fell on her butt. Perfect way to meet boys, Gabby. <laughs> fall on your butt. Yeah, he was old. But still, I mean, when you meet people, you should fall on your butt. We call her fall girl and poop girl. Oh, I smell my hand. It doesn't smell like my hand. That's how warm it's been in Canada. Like, usually this stuff, water is frozen by now. Usually, usually we've had like our worst weather by now. Can we try and get off the bridge? It's a safe bridge. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a safe bridge. What if I, my dog pulls me and I fall on my butt? Yeah. <laughs> Mine is learning. Mine is learning to walk kindly. She wants to run. She's crying. She wants to run. Okay, so that's where we're headed. That is the rock, the big giant rock that Gabby found on the map. All right. Stand in front of the rock. I have pictures of Sophie crying in front of this rock. 
So this is it. This is the Bleasdale Boulder. Nice and so Gabby's Daisy's confused. She's like, what is this place? Okay, so this rock is one of the oldest rocks in Canada. It's 2.3 2.3 billion years old. So that rock is 2.3 billion years old. So this big rock traveled 40 kilometers before coming to rest at this site. So this rock traveled. Imagine how much water it would have needed to push this rock here. It weighs close to 1 million kilograms. Let's go falling on your bum girl and talk to you girl. <laughs> we, <laughs> she snorts like me. Why me? We all came down that little hill and we're like, I'm gonna fall. No, I'm gonna fall. And then Sophie falls. Oh, it gets my ankle. <laughs> Your ankle feels better. So uh, we have a lot of memories from coming to this boulder and going on the trail a long, Mommy. long time ago. We were walking home like to our car and we were just walking along, a bunch of us, like me and a bunch of little kids. All of a sudden we heard this baby kitten screaming. Like it was screaming, you guys. It, and it was crashing through the woods. Like I didn't even know for sure what it was. So we're walking and it's like trashing through the woods and we are, we could tell it was like a distress call. And then we all started running and the girls had a friend with us. She's the same age as Gabby. So, oh, Gabby was about nine. Okay, so anyways, we're walking and we hear it and then we just start running through the woods. Like, we started running towards it because we knew it was calling like for help. It just came running, it was this little kitten. It j literally jumped into Gabby's arms and then I was covered in fleas and it was obviously so super skinny and it was obviously abandoned there or got lost or something. I think it was abandoned and Anyways, she was asking for help, so we got in the car with us and we took her to our local Humane Society, which my sister was the manager of, but my sister was not working. Don't let her go on there, she'll fall through. Don't let her go. Anyways, my sister was not working at the Humane Society that day, but her friends were, and her friends knew us. Her friends knew us. So we walk in, and we're like, and we're all bonded with this kitten. Like, it took me 20 minutes to drive to the local Humane Society, and we're all bonded with this kitten. And we take it in and we pass it over. And the reason we didn't keep it is because we weren't prepared. Like, we weren't expecting to find this kitten. It was covered in fleas. Like, I didn't have any flea medicine at that moment. Like, we could have taken it to the vet. But, anyways, we took it to the Humane Society. So, we get there and we give it over to the Humane Society girl and doesn't Gabby, oh, doesn't the girl that we're with start bawling her eyes out because she loved the kitten. And then Gabby's sad and then Sophie's sad and everybody's sad. And then they're like, yeah, you're dropping off a stray cat and you're all bawling. Hmm, is it really stray or is it yours and you're just turning it in? Thankfully they knew us. <laughs> it really wasn't our kitten. But yeah, good memories from this place. Okay, so we're on this bridge, you guys. We're on this bridge. <laughs> Everyone, get down there! <laughs> oh Go! Okay, so we're on this bridge. It's, it's this big, huge metal bridge. Like, look at the metal. So it's like, I don't think it can hold me. <laughs> I'm, I'm passing you guys. <laughs> yeah, but it's pure ice now. Uh oh, I have to put my camera away. Ruby, don't put me on the ice. All right, best dog ever on the trail. Let's vote. Best dog on the trail. Molly. Daisy. She made a new friend, that black lab. A black lab ran up to Daisy and she was just Molly. a happy Molly. She was happy no, friendly. she snapped at him. Oh, before. did she snap at him? And then once he left, she wanted to play with him. <laughs> she she kind of nice. grabbed with other dogs. No, I'm just joking. Anyway, so best dog in the trail was Daisy. Oh, she did. I fell. Sophie fell and she picked up dog poop with her fingers. No! <laughs> it was in a baggie. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a, a <laughs> oh you guys come on it was funny don't you know that you're beautiful